Finish the swing like Django Lover. Finish the swing like Tim Tim Tim. Hey y'all, it's nice. Welcome to and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so the problems that I have with this camera is that it looks super clear when I'm filming, but then when I upload, when I upload, it's a mess. So like right now it looks super clear, but then it doesn't later on. Like it looks like I freaking filmed on a toaster but right now it looks like the DSLR that is supposed to be okay so I need to do more research or something because honey like it's not giving it's not giving at all and it stays this camera stays embarrassing me okay anyway welcome back to my channel um I'm on a roll like can can we can we give it up for the consistency? Let's hear it for the consistency, okay? Um, anyway, so today's video, we are going to talk about manifesting you, manifesting the best version of yourself, manifesting and creating your own reality. This is something that I have been working for or working on for years. And slowly but surely, I have created my own reality, you know? Um, am I there? No. Have I fallen off the wagon? Many, 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 many times I have fallen off the wagon. I think that's where... Um, that's why I'm not completely, like I don't have everything that I like had wanted in my five year, five year plan, but I have a majority of the things I wanted in that five year plan, right? That five year plan. But we move, like I had, I was moved to create this video because Creating your reality, manifesting the life that you desire is something that I'm truly passionate about because I am one of those people that truly believes that everything starts in the mind. If your mind's not right, then your life's not right. If your life is not right, take a look at what your mind is doing first, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the the steps that I am going to be taking now because I've been doubling down on creating my dream life. I've been going harder than before. Um, life is just way too precious and way too time sensitive to really not go after the life you want. Like we I'm a firm believer we were not put on this earth. God did not put us on this earth to live in the trenches. God did not put us on this earth to struggle through life every day. Like we came here to have an amazing human experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. And I truly believe that getting your mind right puts you on the right track to getting your life right, okay? So uh, I'm going, I am going so much harder. Okay, so really to start creating the best version of yourself and to start creating like your best life, you need to know exactly what that best life looks like. What, what does the best version of your life look like? You need to write it down okay the best version of me right she is growing her natural hair like she is wearing it i'm about to get into my straight hair era my straight hair girl era um i while i enjoy my curls and i enjoy my hair and um in its natural state I want to wear my hair straight like that is it's for me it's so much more manageable that way like if I just wear it straight now then I know exactly I know it's not tangling right it's not tangling therefore it's not breaking off and for me that is what I want I feel like 
the natural hair community has shamed us shamed us relentlessly into oh it's self-hate if you uh wear your hair out straight that's self-hate wear it in its natural state uh 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 no 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 save me spare me spare me okay like that is what I enjoy for myself in this time so I mean I hate putting heat in my hair but I do enjoy the straight look. Um, I enjoy my hair like really big and wild sometimes, but I just, I get, I get tired of it. So best version, oh, let me fix it before I start talking again, child. So the best version of myself has healthy, beautiful, natural hair. Now, I mean, I I love braids and I love a weave or a lace here and there, but I want to do that just to switch it up, not because I feel like my hair is not doing what it needs to do for me. And for a long time, I have felt that way. And yeah, so best version of myself is rebuilding my relationship with my hair. The best version of myself has a certain look that I have in my head. Like she takes care of herself. And like I said, my hair, she takes care of her nails. She takes care of her skin. She takes care of her body. She is beautiful inside and out. She is fit is she when she looks in the mirror she thoroughly loves what is looking back at her she loves who she is and that is something that i am working on so hard like i i just i want to I'm just going to put it out. I'm be honest. I want to be skinny again. I don't want to have a big back no more. Like there's no reason to have a big back. Right? So that's what we're working on. Like I'm, I don't want to have a big back anymore. Like I've been skinny and I've been big and I like being skinny more. That's just me. Like that is me personally. I feel my best when I am smaller. Like bigger my back hurt child like I can't lay a certain way too long like I can't lay on the couch too long I start slump like my back hurt now and I'm not even doing nothing like it's just way too much weight and I mm -mm. like it'd be embarrassing going to the doctor getting on the scale my BMI is off the charts like they just be looking at me like I'm biggie like no I don't no like don't like it. I don't like how I feel when I have all of this weight because I'm not used to that. Like I'm not used to it. I've only been bigger or yeah, on the bigger end for the past six years or so. Like I, I've always been smaller. Like life will kick your butt when you let it. But I'm manifesting that back. Like I am creating my own reality in my world. I am fit, healthy. I got healthy hair, healthy skin, healthy nails. I'm I'm just healthy. I'm healthy and I'm happy and my aura exudes that, right? That's, that's what I am creating. The best version of me is good at her nine to five, but she is working on having multiple streams of income. The best version of me, while she's highly educated, like I'm working on my master's and that was something that like was so far off in the distance for me at one point, but I have manifested that, brought it and brought it into my reality. And I know I can bring more into my reality. I she is going to get into her career and thrive in it. She will have multiple streams of income. I will have a business or two, you know, that is the best version of me is contributing to building generational wealth. The best version of me is working, is getting better at this content creation thing every day because I 
there's nothing I love more than women working on themselves and striving to be the best version of themselves. And I am working on that now. Like if I could get one person to work on becoming the best version of themselves, like I did it. Like I did it. The best version of me has got her finances together. I, I am getting my finances together as we speak. Like I've been working on my credit score for a couple of years. I've been working on um, saving better, budgeting better. I need to make more money, but you know, I'm not chasing money. I'm attracting the job that will pay me my worth or will pay me what I desire. I'm attracting, um, I'm attracting more money into my life. I'm not going to chase money because what do you do when you're chasing something? When you chase something, it runs. But when you're just calm, you're collected, you're work, you're taking small steps daily to work towards that, it comes to you. Okay, so I am working towards my dream career coming to me to where I can make more money. My business is coming to me to where I can make more money. But does that mean I'm just going to sit and do nothing and wait for it to come? No, because faith without work is dead. You have to actively work towards what you want. And then one day you'll wake up and you're there because you took those small steps. You don't just wake up and you're all of a sudden the best version of yourself, you know? You take small steps to be the best version of yourself. So that is what I'm doing. We're taking baby steps. The best version of me has her feminine aura. I, y'all, I try so hard to be soft, but I guess the sad reality of it is some women have just grown up in environments where they can't be soft and feminine and speak oh so lightly and just be so calm and so airy. Some of us got a little bass in our voice. Some of us got a little pep in our step, you know, like... So, I mean, that's just a part of your personality. Being feminine and being soft doesn't have to mean that you have this soft spoken voice and you're so airy and you can barely hear what I'm saying, but it's a quiet confidence. It's speak, it's just smiling and talking and being lighthearted. That is feminine and soft as well. It doesn't have to be this box of oh I'm so dainty like you can be dainty and still powerful at the same time do you get what I'm saying I'm working on it okay so I really feel like the more you shift your mindset to tell yourself these things are not impossible I am walking in my purpose. I am living in my truth. I am the best version of myself. The more you shift your mindset to believe those things, the more those things come into your life, the more you attract those things into your life. We don't want to chase anything because we don't want anything to go far out of our reach, you know? But I truly, truly believe like the way you phrase things and say things and what you speak comes into fruition. There is power in the tongue. What is it? Life and death are in the power. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. There is power in the words that you speak. You don't, don't let people speak negativity over your life. Don't let people tell you you have failed and stuff. Don't let people tell you anything is too hard for you to do. And don't you dare tell yourself that too, because then you start to believe it. If you tell somebody something enough times, they start to believe it. Like, have you heard, um, the saying, like someone has told themselves, if you tell yourself a lie, long enough, you'll start to believe that lie is the truth. So, I mean, it might sound a little Delulu, but we might have to get a little Delulu and start believing our own on the stuff. Um, Haley Gamba here on YouTube phrased it as in, you're creating your own world. And in your world, you are that main character. 
your world. It's about you. You decide what happens in that world. That is your world. And not in a, oh, I'm God type of way. Like that's blasphemous and we want to stay away from that. Okay, I am. No, I will not be a part of no blasphemy. Just in a way of I belong in this world. I am important enough for my for me to be the main character. You know, I am the leading lady in my life. Period. So just starting small and saying stuff to yourself like I'm happy. I am healthy. I'm genuinely grateful for everything that I have. I am financially well off. I don't want for anything. My savings is looking amazing. Like just saying stuff like that, I think gets the ball rolling. But like I said earlier, you also have to take those small steps into actually taking action because it's not just going, it's not just going to happen. You got to do the work, boo. Like if you don't do the work, who will? So this week I am going to work on my um, affirmations and reminding myself of those affirmations every morning which I'm already pretty good at but I do fall off the bandwagon for days or weeks at a time and then I get back to it I would like to build these habits and stack them on top of each other and keep building these building these habits to get me to where I want to be because like why live in the struggle? Like, why? If we don't have to, if there are regular people out there making their lives 10 times better from year to year, we can do it too, you know? So another thing on your journey to becoming the best version of yourself is identify low vibrational beings and low vibrational things that you are allowing to consume your time or allowing to be in your life. So this might be as simple as the music you listen to is low vibrational, the TV shows and movies and content you consume is low vibrational, the people that you sit and talk to are low vibrational. Um, sometimes you can't help it if it's family and y'all live together. You just gotta amp your aff affirmations up and decide like I'm going to get into a better environment, you know? Um, being with around low vibrational people or low vibrational things is really detrimental to not only your health, but it's detrimental to your success. Because being around low, like when you get around people who like they're just sitting around or if I'm watching TV all day or if I'm watching a show that or content that really drains me, then I have no more energy to get up and be productive or to get up and do something like exercise or do something that is going to benefit me. Like birds of a feather flock together. And if you can't be a majestic eagle walking around with chickens because chickens don't even fly. So, I mean, why are you like you can fly and you're hanging with chickens. They can't even they barely get up off the ground. Like, come on now. We eat chicken. We don't eat eagles. So you really have to watch what low vibrational things you're letting consume you. Like, for example, if I am trying to be productive all day and I'm trying to, like, I'm on level 10 and I'm like, yes, I'm gonna get stuff done. And then I see, like, Bay is on the couch and he's eating pizza and brownies and watching a movie. Then I'm like, well, dang, I mean, it just, it, it sets you back some, you know, like it just makes you, it makes you kind of lethargic, like, okay, it takes energy out of you almost. So make sure you set very clear boundaries to keep low vibrational things and people out, okay, to the best of your ability. 
that's really it for this video. I just wanted to share like what the best version of me looks like, how I plan on getting there, hopefully motivate someone else to get to the best version of themselves. Because y'all like living in the trenches and being in the trenches and being in the struggle, like that really affects your, your health. And I've seen it firsthand. And the research that I've seen on it is just mind blowing how just being like just living in the trenches, living in survival mode, like it really can make you sick from the inside out. It ages you. It makes you bitter. Like it makes, it gives you like, it gives you an outlook on life that is dangerous and it leads to depression. That, that is, I truly believe that is why so many people are sick and depressed and have mental ailments because we just we live in the trenches too long like we we get defeated and we stay in that defeat way too long like we were not put on this earth to be defeated our whole lives I do not believe that I don't believe it so let's make a change. Let's go ahead and define what your best version, what the best version of you looks like. And then do write down the baby steps that you need to take to become the best version of yourself. Like what do you want your life to look like realistically? Like anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can take something away from it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.